Here we go. Here we go. It is that time of the day again. That time of the day again. What? Where is everybody? Looks like I am driving this bus by myself. Driving it by myself. Holy smokes. Boom. Instagram just got all kind of crazy on me. Hold on. Two seconds. I got to get this uh, Instagram live going again. Sorry about that, Facebook. But uh, here we go. We back. We back, Instagram. Sorry. It's just me today. It's just me today. And it looks like, looks like I'm riding this bus solo today. We're driving solo today. But that's okay. All about it. All about that solo train. Corey, what's happening? Hey, what's happening, Ty? Shouldn't you be in class, Ty? Shouldn't you be in class, Kelsey? Shouldn't you be in class? Are you at lunch right now? Is that what we got going on? Huh? Y'all at lunch right now? Getting your minds right? That's right, baby. I know it. I appreciate that. Just go ahead and send this to the entire school. They're going to all be getting their mind right. Just get, gather everybody around. Say, hey, you know what? We need to listen. We need to listen to this, guys. This is life-changing stuff right here. Going to Carolina. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot you were on the on the on the road, baby. On the road. Kaylee, what's happening? Hey, I don't see a Jesse around. I don't see a Jesse around, Kaylee. Where where that boy at? Man, I tell you what, now he was picking me up today. Uh I don't know if you could tell, but I'm a little under the weather today. I got my gray hoodie on, little under the weather, and the only thing I'm doing today is this. I drove in just for you guys today. Just for you. Just for you. So that way I can still connect with you. So I got my gray hoodie on. And we're going to get after it today. But the, today, today, Shannon, what's happening? I see you. I, Shannon, I miss you, girl. I miss Mackenzie. How are those braces doing? How, how is all that good stuff doing? I miss you, girl. Mike, what's happening, baby? So here we go today. This one is for the parents. This one is for the parents because I, it's the off season. It's the off season, and everybody gets all excited about the off season. And here we go, off season. Like we're gonna start making gains. We're gonna start, you know, we're just gonna start getting big. You know, all this stuff. Like, you know, okay, yeah, we got a, a time for that. But I think we need to have a plan, right? I think we need to have a plan for how we can make this an amazing off season, not just another off season. Um, did I get you sick? Yeah, Ty, I think you did get me sick. No, actually, I was sick last night, so hopefully you couldn't tell. See, I was bringing the energy anyways. I was bringing the energy anyways. See, sometimes you kind of snap that band. See this band right here? Boom. Snap it. Get your mind right, and you just get it done anyways. So what we're doing today, I want to give the parents, all the parents, so all the parents on right now, this is for you guys. I want to help support you guys and, and helping your athlete have the best offseason yet. Now, athletes, if you're on here right now, here we go. This is just for you. Tore your rotator cuff and labrum tendon. Oh, no. Ah, uh, man, that's a, that's a snap your band moment right there. Natalie, oh, my gosh, Natalie. How'd you do that? Was that uh, playing some softball? Was that playing softball? Goodness gracious, Natalie. That, that, that hurts me. That hurts my heart there. I hate hearing that. When did you uh, have that happen? Man, that's a snap your band moment there for sure. Softball, dag on. That, were, you, were you pitching? Or were you, what, what happened? Tell, tell me what happened. Was it on a slide? I'm assuming it was on a throw, um, if it was labrum and stuff like that. But uh, she's doing good. We've been insanely busy. She was hoping to catch you last Sunday, but missed you. Oh, man. I'll be there this Sunday, Shannon. I'll be there this Sunday. So, uh, man, I like this. I like this kind of connect time. This is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. It's kind of delaying what we're getting into, but that's all right. I like connecting with you guys. I like hearing how you guys are doing. But even though, like – it sounds like uh, rotator cuffs, and that, that, that ain't fun stuff there. Chase, what's happening, baby? How's JMU treating you? I see you popping on there. So, awesome. So, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the offseason right now. We're going to talk about the offseason, and for parents, I want you to learn how you can support your student athlete. I just got three things for you today, three simple things that you can do to help your student uh, your student athlete. When IG won't load, you got to go to the Facebook. Amen to that, Mike. But see, Mike, Gorilla Mike. These young bucks, these young bucks don't have Facebook anymore. Young bucks don't have Facebook. They just on that IG, on that Snapchat, on that TikTok, right? That TikTok. That's that new one I learned about. I, I don't know anything about it, but I know it's out there. I know I got to learn. I was learning that in youth group, TikTok, TikTok. I don't know nothing about that. Jenna, what's happening? Jenna, yeah, it sucks. been out since September 17th. Oh, man, girlfriend. Hey, you doing rehab for that? Uh, When's your surgery? Have you had surgery yet? Let me know when your surgery is. I'll be uh, shooting some prayers up for you on that one. That's uh, 
That, that's a tough one. Mac will teach me good. Have Mac come in. She can be my social media TikTok expert. We'll, we'll create a position here at Crucible. The t director of TikTok. Director of TikTok performance. There we go. She's got a job. All right, she's got a job. I, I hear that's the brand new thing. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. So like 10 second videos or something like that. But anyways, okay, we keep getting sidetracked. Keep getting sidetracked. That's all right. That, see, that's what happens when you're a little like, not, not feeling 100%, you got them crazy eyes, and you're just trying to bring it no matter what, you, you get a little sidetracked, but that's okay. Hannah, what's happening, Hannah? Oh, man, Hannah. Yeah, I have physical therapy for three weeks now, and I got two more months of it. Hey, awesome. Not sure if I'm going to get surgery yet because it's only slightly torn. Okay, hey, there we go. Find the positive. Make sure you're doing everything that they're saying to do with that physical therapy and then some, right? And then it's going to be huge for you. This, this actually talk is going to be perfect for you today on how you – it's going to be perfect for you today, Natalie. I'm, I'm praying for you, though, man. No, nope. torn rotator cuffs are never fun. Torn injuries are never fun. And, uh, but what I've learned, what I've learned, we're, again, we're getting all, kind of off topic, but what I've learned, every piece of adversity, every challenge, it, it's a comeback story waiting, right? It's an opportunity to grow. It's a comeback story waiting. And your challenge your is going to be an opportunity to inspire somebody else. It's gonna be an opportunity to inspire somebody else who's going through the same exact thing. They're gonna be like, man, if Natalie can get through this, I can get through this. If Natalie can get through this, I can get through this. So if you can watch a game at eight, eight o'clock, you, you live streaming that, and hey, uh, Ty, shoot me the link to your, uh, your, your thing and I'll, I'll post that out on like the Crucible page or something like that. That'd be sweet, that'd be sweet. The sauce, yeah, that's my brother-in-law right there. Deck, what's happening? Declan, you should be at school right now getting your lunch time on. Man, we're just getting kind of crazy. A little cray-cray in here. I like that. All right, here we go. Get a little, little. Here we go. I got my, my, my protein. Got my protein. Mm-hmm. Mm. Get my protein. Got to stay healthy, right? You know what I'm saying? So here we go. We're going into three things that, for you parents, this is how you can help your student athlete have a great uh, off-season. If you're a student athlete, these are three things that you can make sure that you're doing. Okay, so here we go. We're, go. we're jumping right in. Step number one, I want you to have a long-term plan, a long-term plan for this offseason. What I see so often, what I see so often is somebody coming in, they're done playing, they've played 5,000 games this offseason or this, this spring, summer, fall, and they're coming in all jacked up and beat up, and then we start trying to train, and it takes them like a two weeks, three weeks, a month to like get back into the swing of things. And then by then they only have two weeks or two months left of training and they wonder why they, they're not reaching their maximum potential. And then they leave again for another nine months, go in and play in 5,000 games. They come back and the cycle repeats. We take about a month off of, you know, of like, oh man, let me get back into the lift. They get two, two, three solid months of lifting in and then they disappear again, right? That is not a good long-term plan. I'm telling you that right now. Not a good long-term plan because I did a video on this. Check it out on Instagram and Facebook. I did a, a, a visual, right? We, we do all this work and we start climbing this mountain and then all of a sudden we jump off a cliff and we say, I'm just going to stop doing the thing that's making me successful and all my gains start doing this, right? And then I go back up, you know, climb off season again and then I jump off a cliff and then I don't train anymore. Like, and we do this thing constantly, right? But not, so make sure you go check that video out. But what we want to see is we want to have a long-term plan of, okay, how can I do this? And then in-season, have an in-season plan. What is our in-season plan? I'm already thinking in-season because this everything we're going to do this off-season is going to build to the in-season plan. Well, Ryan, I don't have time. I don't have time for this. I've got 5,000 games. Well, I'm going to say maybe you shouldn't be playing that many games, right? Because if we're lifting the same thing that we started with last year, we're not making progress. I'm going to say, maybe we need to think about things differently. What is our long-term plan, right? If all of a sudden, if we're saving money, right? If we're putting money into a bank and I, I store all this money away and then every spring, summer, fall, I pull it all back out down to zero. And then I'm like, well, this off season, I'm going to start saving again. We're not making any progress, right? We got to put money in there. We got to put money in and then let it sit there and let it build and then put more money in and let it build, right? We can't just pour money into a savings account and then pull it all out during the season and pour all money back in. Like we can't just keep taking out what we put in. 
can't do that. Same thing with our gains, with our, with our strength, with our endurance, with our mental side, right? We got to make sure that we're building, building it. And then during season, we have a plan to keep it here. So that way next off season, we can take another big jump, right? So that's the first step that we have to do. Parents, if you want to help your athletes, help them create, we can help them create a long-term plan. What is our plan now? We're starting the off season now. What is, let's go ahead and start thinking about what our plan is going to be during the season. And yes, it is going to be challenging. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough to find and make the time to get in here, but we got to do it. We got to do it. We got to make sure that you're doing it, right? You got to make sure that you're putting the work and doing all the little things that are making you successful, right? Keep those, keep those going. Well, Ryan, not everybody does that. I know not everybody's great either, but I don't find it to be a, a coincidence that major league athletes, many of them are lifting every single day and they're traveling and they're on planes and they're, they're finding a way. Well, Ryan, that's their job. Well, okay, but you got to start acting as if you're a professional before you're ever a professional. You got to start acting and doing things like a pro if you want to ever be a pro. You got to do that before you're actually a pro, right? That's what you have to do. So we got to find the time. We got to make the time and it's going to be tough, but hey, good. We like the tough stuff. Good thing our, our saying is cherish the challenge. So parents, if you want to help your student athlete this off season, if you want to help them next off season, what is the plan? What is the long-term plan? If you're a freshman and you want to play college ball, we got to have a plan built up for the next four years of what we're going to do this off season, during season, off season, during off season, during off season, during, like we got to have that growth potential, that growth plan. We cannot just keep doing all this great stuff and then jumping out and disappearing, doing all this good stuff and then jumping out and disappearing. Cannot do it. Cannot do it. Yes. Got to act like a pro. Boom. You got that, Mike. Gotta, 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 gotta. Boom. There we go. Oh, I'll get tired. Spitting a lot. When it's just me, I don't have a, I don't have a break. How y'all doing today? You feeling good? I'm fired up. So there we go. Step number one. Have a long-term plan and an in-season plan. So that way, by the time next season's already around, I'm already thinking of the 2020 off season. I'm already, that's how far ahead I'm thinking, right? I'm already thinking about that. So by the time you hit the 2020 off season, it's like, boom, I'm hitting it hard. Boom. And growth is happening. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, if you have any questions, let me know, type them in. I want to see what your questions are because I'm feeling good. Well, I'm not feeling good, but I'm feeling good. Here we go. Step number two. If you have an amazing, want to have an amazing, amazing, amazing off season, parents, I want you to buy a scale. A scale? Why, Ryan? Why do I want you? Why do you want me to buy a scale? I want you to buy a scale because I want our athletes hopping on that scale and seeing how much they weigh, right? So many of our athletes are coming in saying, hey, Ryan, I want to put on 15 pounds. I want to put on 20 pounds of muscle. I want to I want to start getting stronger. I want to start doing this stuff. And so many of our guys and gals come in underweight, right? And then I ask them, hey, 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 are, are you, uh, are you scale? Like, how much do you weigh? Well, I don't know. Okay, well, let, let's get a scale and let's measure it next week. Hey, how much do you weigh? Well, I, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to say this. If we can't measure something, we can't track it. Every single day in here, every single workout, we have a paper and we write down exactly how much, we, uh, how much we're lifting. If we're deadlifting and last week we deadlifted 405, this week we're going to be deadlifting 415 or 425. Like we have a way to measure and track because if you can't track something, you can't measure it. You cannot measure. You can't keep going. Juan, what's happening, baby? I see you there. I see you. So we got to make sure that we're measuring. We got to make sure that we're measuring it. So let's get a scale. Let's get a scale. So every first of the week, every week, we can hop on that scale and figure out where we're at. Joey Nicholson, I see you, baby, on, on the road. You on the road? You watching on the road? Get your mind right. Athlete wants to come in. They're weighing 160 right now, and they want to be 180 by March 1st. We need to make sure that we're measuring. We need to make sure. Like, and, well, my, my son, my daughter, they eat a ton. They eat a ton. Well, I'm going to say this. If they're not gaining weight, they're not eating enough. They're not eating enough right? And we got to be able to know, are we, are we eating enough? Are we doing what we need to do? And we got to track it. And one of the best ways to track it is getting a scale, getting a scale. If you're wanting to throw harder, mass equals gas. You want to put on 15, 20 pounds, it's going to help your power. It's going to help your velocity. It's going to help all those good things. And we're going to still stay fast. We're still going to stay all those things, right? We got to put the weight on 
Like we're wanting to, we got to be able to measure it. We got to be able to track it. Keep up the great way. Man, one, I appreciate you. I appreciate that. One of this kind of like a side comment, a side side uh, thought process. Um, nutrition, right? Nutrition. Everybody's like, hey, I want to put on weight. I want to do these things. One of the best ways. One of the best things I think. Again, this this can be a little and then some, and it's because I'm staring at it right now, right? Protein. Are you getting your protein in? Are you getting your protein in? We sell protein. I brought my, I was mixing my stuff up over here, right? But right before the uh, the IG and Facebook Live, right? Okay, we sell a scent protein. Boom, we sell it here. It's great. Get it in. Pick up a bag next time you're in here. Save it for uh, just after workouts and get yourself a protein shake immediately after your workout. And it's gonna help immensely. We can't put all this work in and then not fuel the body and have it do what it needs to do. So there you go. That's a, that's a fourth step. That's an end then some. If you want to help your athlete be great this off season, buy them some Ascent Protein so that way they're getting their nutrition right. There we go. Boom. So get a scale. Measure your nutrition. Measure your protein. Measure how much you're weighing. If you want to put on weight but we're not tracking how much we weigh, eh, it's just kind of like, eh, I feel good today. I feel good. Like, we would never do that with our finances. Eh, yeah, I, I think I got money in there. I don't know. But we, we look at it. We look, well, we should be looking at it. We should be looking at our bank statements. We should be looking at what's going out. We should be looking at what's coming in, right? Got to do the same thing with our, with our weights, with our body weight, with our nutrition. We got we to be tracking it. Got to be tracking it. There we go. Parents, if you want to help your kid this offseason, buy them a scale. Buy them a scale. Number three. Last one, if you want your student athlete to have an amazing, an amazing off season, an incredible off season, I want you to talk to them and I want you to model to them and I want you to demonstrate to them and I want you to help them to be consistent. Be consistent, be consistent. If they have made a, a declaration that they want to play college ball, if they've made a declaration that they want to eventually be a pro ball player, if they made a declaration that they want to be a straight A student athlete, they want to be an academic All-American, if they, whatever that is, help them be consistent at going towards those goals, right? I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that we see is a lack of consistency. And parents, we got to be consistent. We got to be consistent by, uh, for our kids. Yes, Juan, lead by example. Absolutely. We got to be consistent in our message to them. We got to be consistent in the way that we go about doing things. If we talk to them about, hey, you got to eat right. You got to do these things. Well, guess what? As parents, we got to start eating right. You know, if, if we're talking about you got to get your sleep and you got to get off your phone, uh, so stop scrolling on your phone. I hate how much you're on your phone. Well, parents, we got to get off our phone. As soon as we get home, we got to put that phone up. We, we got to model to our kids how important it is to have communication, to have the conversation. We can't just say, man, son, daughter, get off your daggone phone, you know, back in my day. But then we're sitting there doing the same thing. Like, we can't do that. We got to be consistent. Bailey, Bailey, what's happening, girl? Man, so, sorry, sidetrack. Anyways, we got to be consistent. We got to be consistent with, our, with how we approach life, with how we approach uh, challenges, Wh whatever it is, we got to be consistent. There's going to be times where it's hard. It's going to be hard to make it into the gym. It's going to be hard to get your studying done. It's going to be hard to, to make all these fit, things fit together. Help them be consistent in not letting something just fall off, right? If working out is one of the key factors, this goes back into their, uh, this goes back into like our long-term plan, right? If being in the gym is what allows us to do great things, let's be consistent and not let just up, one of them fall off and consistently start falling off or make an excuse of why I can't go or make an excuse of why I can't get uh, straight A's or why I can't get a good grade on the test. Like whatever it is, we got to be consistent. Talk to them, not at them. Yes, Juan. Yes, we got to talk to them. We got to have that conversation, right? We got to have that conversation. Tony, I see you, baby. Man, if you're on Facebook, Tony Johnson just popped on and you talk about a guy that is uh, inspiring. That guy right there. Man, what do you whew inspiring you got to follow that guy right there uh but anyways that that that's right there we got to be consistent we got to be consistent in everything that we're doing show them why consistency matters show them why working out consistently why eating right consistently why connecting consistently why praying consistently why whatever allows you to be at your best why you have to consistently do these things why you have to consistently do these things so there we go those are my three top things that's going to allow you to have an amazing offseason. We have to have a long-term plan, a 
a long-term plan, not just like day-to-day -day plan. We have to have a long-term plan. Where are we going? What are we doing? And part of that long-term plan is having an in-season plan. Don't just disappear. Not all, not, not everything, uh, you know, we, we can't just do all this great work in the off season and then, uh, um, you know, just disappear during the season. We got to have a long-term plan. Get a scale. Start measuring. If you want to put on body weight, which most of our athletes, I'd say 99% of our athletes that come in here say, I want to put some weight on. Perfect. Buy a scale so we can start measuring. Buy a scale. Now, I'm going to say this. If you're, if you're losing weight, I'm going to say you can buy a scale, but don't get caught up in the scale, right? Don't start, like, crushing it, right? Don't start, like, ah, oh, I got to do this every single day, okay? I got it. Once a week, once every other week, track it, okay? And then consistency. Be consistent. Be consistent with your message. Be consistent with your talk. Be consistent with your mindset. Be consistent with how we tackle each and every day. So there, there we go. Those are your three steps as a parent have how you can help your student athlete this off season. One, not all training facilities have this in their regimen. Thank you for having this in your program. Man, my, my pleasure. I love it. I love it. It is my it is my pleasure. I love doing this stuff. Zach, what's happening? I love getting on here and talking with you guys. And and if you have questions, shoot me DMs. Shoot me uh, messages on here right now. Um, you know, if you have anything that you're thinking about, like man, Ryan, I heard this or I heard that. You know, shoot me a message on here. I'd love to answer whatever it is or go pop it in right now. I mean, that's that's why I do this is to connect with you, is to serve you guys and and give you that that outlet because I I know how important it is to me to have somebody to go talk to, right? I know it's important for me to, to have a mentor, to have somebody that when something's going on or I have something to think about, I have those people in my life that I trust and it's like, man, what, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? And more than likely, if you're thinking about something right now, somebody else has that same uh, question. So Casey, favorite brand of protein? Ba -ba -da -ba! There we go, questions. Boom, funny you should ask. This stuff right here, this is what I was drinking. Uh, here out of my perform better thank you perform better you guys rock ascent protein this is my favorite protein um you can buy it online we sell it here casey you're not going to be able to buy it here because you're in michigan and that's a long drive just to get some protein um ascent protein i love it because it is just it is what it is like there's nothing crazy in it right you got 25 grams of protein in there it's a low carb um, it's just a super, super clean protein. Actually, USA Weightlifting, USA Weightlifting, like Olympic Weightlifting, they just uh, partnered with Ascent uh, themselves. They just partnered with Ascent. And uh, that's USA Weightlifting's first ever like sponsorship, like nutrition kind of thing like that. So we've been with them for about three years now with Ascent, and I love it. I love it. It's great stuff. This is vanilla. They got they got all kinds of good stuff. They got chocolate. They got lemon sorbet. They got chocolate peanut butter. They got uh, cappuccino. They got they got all kinds of good stuff. We sell samples here. We sell big bags of it here. We got we sell four pound bags of this stuff as well. So uh, good stuff. Good stuff. I like this stuff a lot. Boom. Great question, Casey. Great question. Anybody else got anything else? If not, I'm gonna be hopping off here. I think uh, here in just a minute. Let me take a sip of my. Ascent protein right there. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, that's that good stuff. Jackson McDaniel, are you getting your mind right? Jackson, are you coming in here lifting today? You're going to do some bicep curls today? What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? <sighs> All right. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to head back home. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some work done, right? I'm going to get some work done, but uh, I'm going to crush it. I'm going to crush it. Jesse's going to hold down training the rest of the day. I'm going to go home, get healthy, so I can get back in here by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So hope you guys are having an awesome day. Shoot me a DM. If you need any help, if you need anything from me, shoot me a DM. I am more than happy to help. I am more than happy to serve. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you got because uh, I love this stuff. So hope you're well. Love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing weekend. And, hey, let's get after this good stuff, all right? Let's make it an amazing offseason. Love you guys. Have a great day. Take it easy, IG. Take it easy. Facebook. See you guys.